Hello guys. Today I am going to show you how to install Fedora 32 in VirtualBox VM Manager. So I am using VirtualBox 6.1.10. So first, we are going to need to go to the Fedora official site to download the official ISO. So we are using 64-bit Fedora here. So we are going to download Fedora Workstation. So we click on the download now button and you can download the ISO from there. So now we click on new on the main menu and in the name we type Fedora. So it will automatically recognize its Linux and Fedora. So we don't need to change the machine folder. Just keep it in default. So we click next and now we assign the memory size. So how much memory uh, depends on how much physical memory you have. Uh, you can assign whatever you want. Just make sure it's large enough. Uh, it's recommended for one gigabyte. Uh, here we just assign four gigabytes and we click next. So now we click uh, create a virtual hard disk now and then we click create. So for the hard disk file type we'll use VDI, so this is the most uh, common and the default uh, file type for VirtualBox. Now we click Next. So, uh, in this part, storage on physical hard drive, you want to uh, choose dynamically allocated. If you choose fixed size, uh, it will just uh, instantly take up the assigned space in your hard drive and if you choose dynamically allocate it it will slowly take up a more size but it's not going to take up uh, all of this assigned size uh, okay uh, now we choose the file location here I'll just put it in my storage drive okay and we'll assign 25 gigabytes here and create okay now we just click start and a new window will pop up uh, to prompt you to choose the ISO so we click that little file icon and we click add and now we find our ISO file and open click open here now we select this file and select choose and we click start okay now it is running we click uh, up arrow key and choose start Fedora workstation 32 and hit enter now we just wait for it to boot up okay now we are in the system uh, we are meet greeted with this window here uh, it will ask you to try or install Fedora so we click install the hard drive it'll take a moment to load here okay now this window is up so first choose our language here I'll choose English United States and we hit continue and next we need to select uh, the installation destination so we click here and you want to make sure there's a checkbox uh, on your virtual disk so here we will use automatic storage configuration uh, because the drive is empty and you don't need to uh, custom do it so we we'll just click done
So you can choose the time and date. It, it will automatically choose your time and date based on your host system. Uh, I'm in China, so I'm using Shanghai time. If you want to change the time zone, you can click in there and just choose the time zone and click done. Okay, now we begin the installation. You just need to wait for it to finish. Okay, now it's complete. Uh, click finish installation. And then we'll reboot the system. So first here, I, I did it wrong. So just do not click the restart button. You want it first to power it off. If you click restart here, it will just boot up again into the installation ISO file. So it will go back to the installation menu like this. So we need to here we need to power off the machine. We click machine. No, we click file and we click close and power off the machine. Okay, now we need to go to the settings and go to storage. Click on the uh, ISO file and click on that the disk icon and remove disk from virtual drive then OK. Now we can click start again. Here we are back in the system. Next you just need to set up your Fedora system. So I'll just do it quick. So input your name here and click next. Just set a random password. Click next and now the setup is complete. So we'll just wait for the GNOME UI to load. Okay, the UI is loaded now. Uh, this is a little help window. You, you you just close it. You can just close it. Okay, now we need to install the VirtualBox Guest Editions. Uh, you can install here through the Install Guest Editions button, and it will insert a a drive in here, and you can just copy all the contents into your downloads folder and install it from there but uh, this time uh, we, we're not going to do it like this so in the official Fedora repositories there is a thing called uh, the VirtualBox uh, guest editions you can just download it from there so first we'll just use DNF list VirtualBox to find that package So uh, after the virtual box, uh, there is a star icon. So that means uh, everything that contains the word virtual box will be listed here. So now uh, these packages showed up. Uh, so we're using VirtualBox 6.1.10. So we want to upgrade this VirtualBox Guest Editions package to 6.1.10. That's the available package down there. We need to type sudo dnf upgrade and then uh, VirtualBox Guest Editions. You just need to copy the name and paste it down there. and you wait for the package to install uh, enter Y here and click enter
So now the package finished installing. We want to reboot the system now. So just type in the terminal here. Type reboot. And now the system has rebooted. We just need to log into the system now. And now let's try to resize the window and see if it, the system resizes. Okay, this system is resizing correctly. And now it's into full screen. So that means we have a successful installation. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.